Hello everybody, welcome back. It's time for another new release video. So today we're gonna to be going over collection 159 called Summer Nights. It will be releasing on May 26th and is available in all the formats. I thought this would be a great transition kit from summer to autumn. So I thought it might be nice for like an August or September monthly where you're not really quite there yet, or at least I'm not really quite there yet and ready for fall, but it's getting there. So another of my favorite color palettes. I was like, I really need to get off the blue and orange kick, Melanie, but yet here I am again. So this is the full box sheet. Don't forget they now have nine up on a sheet, the half and quarter box sheet, and then your washi options. You have your thick washi, thin washi, deluxe washi and eight and a half by 11 and then your date cover option so your individual your Erin Condren hourly and plum vertical columns and then for the little itty bitty sheets we have the headers basic labels appointment labels half and quarter boxes that are plain scallop doodle quarter and half boxes ombre checklist i'm really off center there <laughs> the sidebar glitter headers vertical checklist a5 horizontal aaron condren hourly and plum vertical column checklist sticky notes extra functionals and your doodle icons and then of course a deco sheet and a journal deco sheet so that is it for the weekly kit. We will move into the mini kit. So don't forget, these are the new formats now. I'm super excited about these and cannot wait to get to use them. But this is a new sheet one and new sheet two. And then your TPC Nation kit. That is the first sheet. And then this is the new full box sheet. These have been a huge hit for people that don't even use the TPC Nation planner. I'm so excited for everybody to get these. They are just the perfect size to add something decorative without being too overwhelming. All right, vertical priorities is next. Here's the A5 main sheet, seven by nine main sheet, date covers for the A5 and the seven by nine basic labels for the A5, labels for the seven by nine, your seven by nine bottom box covers and your extra functional sheet. So up next, A5 horizontal. So that is sheet one and sheet two. And then next is a passion planner. So here is the main sheet for that. Then you have your date covers that have the times on them and the ones without. All right, and then we will move into the dailies. So the A5 daily duo is here. That's your main sheet, your basic labels, appointment labels, solid headers, washi headers, and we'll zoom you in on those. Love, love the patterns in this all the leaves, foliage. All right, bottom boxes A, B, C, seventh day bottom box checklist and your daily duo note page. This thing is massive. I'm excited that I got it to fit all in one sheet, but it is a big sheet. So there, in case you haven't seen these yet, it a, um, takes up half of the sheet on the A5, kind of give you a week at a glance, a top washi cover, and then washi strips to divide your right or left side, whichever one you don't use this on, into different sections there. All right, next up is the seven by nine daily duo. I couldn't find it for a second there. So that is sheet one, Monday through Friday date covers, Saturday and Sunday date covers, basic labels, appointment labels, solid headers, 
washi headers, bottom box options, A, B, and C, and then your seventh day box, your checklist, and the notes pages for that one. Okay, next up is maybe get these turned around for you in. Okay, next up is the A5 Plum Daily. So this is sheet one. Then you have your ombre box covers, appointment labels, basic labels, five days worth of bottom boxes, the other two days worth of bottom boxes, your solid headers, and your washi headers. So there is a fourth pattern on that one. And then your seven by nine plum daily. So there's your Monday through Friday, Saturday and Sunday, ombre box covers, appointment labels, basic labels, five days worth of bottom boxes, the last two days worth of bottom boxes and your scripts. Solid, goodness, I'm winning today. Solid headers and your washi headers. So give me just a second to kind of get this cleaned up and get the monthlies out and we will go over those. Okay, you guys know how much I love these little budget cheats getting in my way. So we will go over those first. So you have your fixed expenses budget sheet, variable expenses budget sheet, weekly check-in, transaction log, debt tracker, cash envelopes, sinking funds, savings tracker, your thin washi, and your upside down appointment labels. So that is that. Okay, so plum dashboards are up first for the monthly. So you have your A5 main sheet, seven by nine main sheet, eight and a half by 11, and then your extra circle sheet for your A5, seven by nine, and eight and a half by 11 there. And the A5 Plum Monthly is here. So just in case you haven't been around just very quickly, we did switch back to just having one monthly sheet versus a Monday start and a Sunday start. So this is the script wording where you can place them where you want to. And then there is the extra label sheet for those. The seven by nine plum daily is here. And then the extra label sheet for that one. And then the eight and a half plum monthly is there. And the extra label sheet for that one. I filmed so many videos today, you guys. I am just dog tired. <laughs> All right, so next we will do the Erin Condren. So we have the A5. So this is the coil planner and the agenda planner. And then inside that listing will also be the label options. And then we are also doing dashboards now. So here is the bottom box habit tracker option, the bottom box lined notes option, and then your basic dressings for the page. So don't forget, this. there's just so many themes with Erin Condren that we just cannot make a universal kit to fit all of them. So this will just give you kind of a base from which to build from. All right, and then the seven by nine Erin Condren. Where did it go? Might be missing that one. It looks the same. <laughs> oh, here it is. I got it. I got it. Okay. Here it is. So that is the main sheet and then your label option that is inside that listing, your habit tracker, the aligned bottom box, and your dashboard skeleton. And then the passion planner monthly is up here. So that is your main sheet. And we were not able to fit the date dots on there once we added the Monday start strip. So that is an additional purchase inside that listing. Here's the A5 Moxie Life and the 7x9 Moxie Life. And then there are labels inside of that listing 
as well. So we've wrapped up this extremely painful new release video. I will see you back here tomorrow and we'll go over collection 160, which is called Fruity. And hopefully I'll do a little bit better of a job and be a little more excited for you. Have a great day.